In June of 2023, I quit my job, leaving that comfortable paycheck behind to go all in on content creation. In this video, I'm sharing all of the secrets I took to make it possible. Starting with the very first secret and that's building your savings. Being independent and your own boss may sound great, but with no money coming in, your cash can disappear quite quickly. Before even thinking of quitting your job, there should be a cushion in place just in case things go wrong. Now, what kind of cushion am I talking about? This will massively depend on your own finances, but still works as a good rule of thumb. Work out exactly how much you need to pay in expenses every single month. So that's rent, utilities, food, and all the rest. And once you have that number, add a couple hundred on top just to be safe. Now that you have your monthly expense number, it's time to start thinking ahead. You should have at least six months saved before you even think about quitting your job. Now, you might be wondering why six months? Six months is a good amount of time for you to either get clients for your business or find a new job without sacrificing your current living situation. It allows you to be stress-free knowing your bills will be paid and all you need to focus on is the business. Now that you have your savings, the next thing you need to have is a plan. Stepping out of a job Job without a plan is like driving a car with no steering wheel. You can go, but you have no way of making any moves. Take some time to sit down with a pen and paper and write down what business you want to get into, what the next 12 months look like, and how are you going to achieve it. It doesn't have to be long and it doesn't have to be multiple pages, but some kind of plan will help you massively when taking that leap. I knew right away that I wanted to create content for myself and for others, and I picked a niche that I knew could be scalable if I put the work in. And none of that would have been possible if I didn't pick up a paper and a pen and make a plan. Next up is gear and essentials. While you still have a job, you should be setting aside a little bit of money every single month to make sure you have enough to buy the equipment you need for the business to work. For example, if you're gonna be getting into this field, you're most likely gonna to need to get a camera and a laptop to be able to film and edit. So make sure you budget out how you can afford these whilst you're still employed. Maybe that means you have to sacrifice some weekends and take on more shifts, but once you have that money for the equipment, you'll be that one step closer to making that leap. But remember, you don't need the biggest and best equipment to get the job done. Whether that's a phone or computer you currently own, you can still use that to get the job done. But here's the thing, once you start making money and the business is doing well, then use the money your clients pay you to upgrade your equipment. But that's not something you need to do straight away. For example, this video and all of the videos I've been filming for my clients have been shot with the same camera I bought almost a year ago. So that just proves you don't need the biggest and best to get it done. Following that is get good before you quit. You should be confident that when you quit your job, you have all the skills you need to make sure your business succeeds. So take some time while you have a job to sharpen your skills. Use evenings and weekends to get better on what the job entails. If you're getting into content creation, you should know how to edit, film, direct others, and so much more. Take the time to watch content on YouTube and find people who are teaching what you need to know. Then once you have the skills, start putting it into practice whilst you're still employed. When I was working at Yanomize, I was constantly creating creating content with the team. Every day I was working on the skills I would need to do well at content creating for others. And it was only once I had the confidence with my skills that I started to offer my services out to other clients. So again, make sure you take the time to get good before you decide to quit. And lastly, talk to people who have done it. It's not hard to imagine you know someone who's either started a business or is working for themselves and that could be your biggest asset. Speak to them, ask them about the challenges they faced and how they they've overcome them. Networking with people, doing what you want to do can give you perspective on what to expect when you start doing it. And even if you don't have someone to go to, there are tons of videos and resources out there for you to use and get an idea of what to expect. This video isn't meant to be your confirmation that you need to quit. It's meant to highlight some of the steps you need to take to prepare yourself to make that leap. Some of the biggest rewards come from taking risks and taking risks can be scary. But if you're prepared, then it's still scary, but at least you'll have faith in the plan. If you found this helpful, make sure you subscribe. And if you've got any questions, hit me up on Instagram. I'm always happy to help. But until the next one, I appreciate your time and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.